Welcome to Into the Geek Room and I'm continuing my countdown of films that I've watched in 2020 and uh, we're now in April. So, uh, 49th film I watched this year is Knives Out and that's fantastic. If you haven't seen Knives Out, Ryan Johnson who directed uh, Star Wars Last Jedi, great cast, absolute, it's one of my favourite films of last year, Knives Out, so, uh, so absolutely superb. And we went on to Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. I know, it's, uh, we started at the end of, end of the last month with Star Trek The Motion Picture. So now in uh, April we we on Wrath of Khan. I know it's every it's most people's favourite uh, Star Trek film, but for me it's always going to be the motion picture. I think the motion picture is spot on. But Wrath of Khan is is great just for uh, William Shatner's reading of Khan. Uh, yeah, and we followed that <laughs> up with uh, Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. So uh, yeah, so we are working our way slowly through the Star Trek movies, and uh, then The Goon. Absolutely fantastic ice hockey film, and the reason why I love ice hockey is The Goon is superb. If you haven't seen The Goon, watch The Goon. And uh, we celebrated the launch of Apollo 13 by watching the incredible Ron Howard movie, Apollo 13, which is still stands up as being one of my, is one of my all-time favourite movies. I absolutely <coughs> loved it. And got bit, had a bit of a tar Tarantino thing with Django Unchained, which, you know, Django, it's, it's Tarantino, and it's Tarantino at its best, so... And uh, followed by Le Mans 66 or Ford vs Ferrari if you're in the United States. Uh, it's kind of weird that they changed the name for the UK. And Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express watched it because we went on a bit of a Danny McBride binge with, uh, with, uh, with Eastbound and Down. Absolutely, the Danny McBride's superb. So Pineapple Express and uh, Yellow Submarine, uh, the Beatles movie that was on YouTube. Beatles put it on YouTube, had to watch it. Great film, it's the sing-along version. If you haven't seen Yellow Submarine, bit trippy, but great film. I absolutely enjoyed it. And then I found Give My Regards to Broad Street. Found it in parts on YouTube. You know, it's... If you like Paul McCartney, you'll love this film. The story's weak, but it's got some great musical moments. I mean, I've got a bit... I love uh, Give My Regards to Broad Street since from my childhood, so see, finding it in parts on YouTube, had to watch it. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the C Crystal Skull. Watched it on Blu-ray because I wanted to see if it was really as bad as I remember. Okay, if you get your phone out when you're watching a film, it's not a good sign. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is definitely the weakest of the bond of the Indiana Jones films, which gets on to my 60th film of the year, which is Beer Fest. Okay, we have it on DVD, but we found it on Netflix. And Beer Fest if you, is is superb, underrated comedy. Broken Lizard at their best. Broken Lizard haven't yet to do a bad film. Absolutely love the comedy troupe. They're fantastic. And Beer Fest is still hysterical, no matter how many times you watch it. Which uh, brings us on to Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. You know, it's one of these films which I didn't like on initial release, but the more I watch it, you know, it's not a brilliant film. But it's just good for its badness sometimes. And it's got Andre Browner from the Brooklyn Nine-Nine in it. Nine-Nine! So it's worth watching just for that. And Chris Evans. You know, you got to watch it just for that. And the last film of April, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Watch it on Disney+. Plus. You know what? Still don't like that film. It's the weakest of the uh, three Wolverine movies. And you really can't say anything other than that it is very weak. It's got a great cast, but it's a weak movie. So that's been April for me in my countdown. So that was uh, up to the end of April, about 62 movies. See you all in May's uh, What I've Been Watching in 2020.